MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with Matt Grice. Matt, you were uh, kind enough to do a video, a, a blog for us for this fight. This is going to be officially the last one, we'll call it. Um, how was everything this last couple weeks as you got ready for the fight with Ricardo Lamas? Man, it's been awesome. Man. You know, I can't ask for a better camp and a better ending to it. It's been extremely busy, you know, with work and everything and family, but, but you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I think it makes me who I am, so. Uh, it was a, you know, a bit of a road to get back to the UFC. Uh, what was the, the hardest thing you had to go through, and, and how does it feel now that you're literally just, a, you know, literally hours away from returning? Uh, probably, you know, my last fight, you know, I lost in the UFC, and then after that I had to have surgery because I, I broke my wrist about a month before the fight. And, uh, you know, just just going through that whole thing with getting cut and, and, you know, having that surgery and being out for, you know, six more months, you know, just made me kind of think, you know, if I'm going to do this, I need to put everything I have into it and, and do things right. And I think that kind of just uh, re-motivated me, you know, and uh, then, you know, I have a new daughter and, and everything and got two little girls and just, you know, I want to make a better life for them. So I was, you know, just kind of put my focus back on fighting and, and doing that and trying to, you know, better for my family and everything. Uh, as you wrote in your blogs, of course, you still work a full-time job as a police officer, uh, as well as this. I mean, how hard is it on a daily basis to balance the two? It's, it's tricky. It's, it's real tricky. But, you know, now that like I said I'm on a new work schedule, it, it works out so much better. Like, last time I was with the UFC, I was working, you know, from 4 in the afternoon to 2 in the morning. And it just, you know, it's killer trying to find workout partners and all that. Now I don't go to work till 9.30 at night, and it really frees up. You know, I can train when I get off work at 7.30 in the morning, and I can also train in the evenings before I go to work, and it just, you know, allows me all day to rest and sleep and stuff like that. So it, it just works out perfect. Uh, this is going to be your first fight in the UFC at 145. You were, you know, maybe a bit undersized at lightweight. Do you feel like you, you probably would, should have been a featherweight all along? Oh, 100%. That's definitely the weight class for me. I wrestled at 49 in college. Um, you know, at 55, I was carrying around some fat. And, uh, you know, I'd walk around anywhere from 65 to 70. But that was, you know, pretty heavy. And, uh, you know, now 45 is the perfect weight class for me. I've cut my weight right. Um, and, you know, I feel great. We know Ricardo Lamas, a uh, tough guy from the WC, fellow wrestler. Uh, sometimes it's hard to pinpoint when two wrestlers fight each other. Uh, how do you see this fight going? You know, I think it's going to be a scrap, man. He, uh, all the fights I've watched, he's a game opponent. He likes when he comes to fight. Uh, I think our styles are pretty fairly similar. Both like to stand up. Both come from strong wrestling backgrounds. And, you know, both just like to fight and get it on. So, you know, uh, Sunday night, we're going to go out there and bang it out and see what happens. Are we any closer to getting Serpico as your official nickname? I don't know. Man. So you have to take that up with uh, my, uh, my trainer and I all that. I don't know. It's pretty. It's, it's very clever, though. <laughs> the the fighting cop. I'm telling you, it's hey, perfect. I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, Matt, anything to say to your fans? Just you know, thanks for all the support. I got you know best fans back in Oklahoma. I got a lot of support, and I appreciate it, especially my family. You know, that helped me out tremendously, allowed me to train. You know, my sponsors, everybody back home, and you know, just I just really appreciate it, and uh, you know, can't wait till Sunday. Thanks very much, Matt. Thank you.